Hello? How are you? I'm fine. How was your day? Uh, today, I relax. Hey, great to hear that, man. <laughs> yes, because I, I work in, in the board office. Really? Yeah. Great. And what do you do? Um, and for a moment is I, I study in Lang Network. I, I have the course in the, in the UCA, in the in CC and the NDA one. CC? NDA. NDA. The same. One. And it is uh, it is like a training that your company gave you. Gave you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, because the the the, the classes uh, in the Saturday in the morning. Okay. Okay. What about you, Carla? How are you? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How was your day? I was very busy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I am in a corporate audit, really? and I, I I am I spoke, and I should collect all information that all areas in the company is very complicated because is right. is a um, a big number of employees that need to send send me the information imagine so stressful and you have to give information about that yeah but it is it, nice this activity it's my first time uh, how I spoke in in this activity but I learned in, uh, about the company because uh, I don't know all all uh, responsible that each areas okay it is it is um, learning for you or not? Yes. yes. And the, the most important is the, the, the contact with the employees because for, for be a, um, a global company, uh, each areas there are in different countries, in different a schedule, a, a different schedule for, for different country, but what's nice. Right, right. Okay. What about the rest? Hi, good evening. What are you talking about, guys? Uh, I think we are talking about how was our day. And Nelson told me that he was so relaxed working at home. And Julia told me that he was, she was a uh, so busy day because he was, he, he, he had a corporate audit in, the, in her company. And what about you? Oh, sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, today I have been working since 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. was a really busy day, and I got headache uh, since yesterday, so I'm, like, dying right now. Um, but I think everything was good at work. Mm, right now, um, well, on, during the day, I have been working, like, 
um, sometimes on emails, um, sending emails, working on those emails, um, and sometimes just taking calls, things like that. Uh, so it's really like uh, um, tired. For example, when you're feeling like, when you feel sick, because you need to be like, you know, attending uh, all the metrics, things like that. So it's really tired for me. And today was not the exception. Um, so yeah, it was the hardest time today. <laughs> I can imagine, but uh, the occupational hazard. Everyone has had a different day, our worker. Okay. Okay, <laughs> nice talk. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt you, actually. You're just having fun. That's good. Good, good, good. OK, let's start the class. We're just going to go with the ones that are connected. So let's go. Um, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present, teacher. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Anacel Micheves. Present, teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Gloria Elizabeth Dinares Galdames. Here. Here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. I think she got frozen. Present. Yeah, yeah. There you are. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano, Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez, Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte, and Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present the Thank you. Let me do the math really quick. We are seven. Yep, exactly. Okay, so let's start doing a little refresher about a topic that we started before and I will share something else with you as well. So first let's go to your page. What page is it? Page 11. You will see on page 11 a uh, part of the grammar topic we discussed before using ing after some verbs. Oh, Okay, as you can see, this is page 11 of your workbook. And sure. you have, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, could you please send me the manual, please? It's on your platform, but let me see if I can just. Or no, no, I, I, I download it later. Don't You'll download it later? Okay. okay. Yeah, it, it's okay. So let's see. Um, we were talking about this specific verbs appreciate avoid consider okay again appreciate avoid consider discuss enjoy keep mind mention mention quit quit and suggest suggest so, I appreciate having manager park avoids making. Okay, so after these verbs, you need a gerund if you're adding another verb. So, can somebody help me? How do you understand this sentence? I appreciate having the company work towards a multicultural corporate environment. Can somebody translate in your own words? How would you translate this? Okay, how will you translate this first sentence? 
I appreciate the company work towards a multicultural corporate environment. Yo aprecio trabajar en una compañía que va o que va hacia un ambiente multicultural corporativo. Very close, that's right. O que right. se dirige, se... <laughs> exactly. I appreciate the company work towards. Aprecio que la compañía trabaje hacia un ambiente multicultural corporativo. Yeah, exactly. Let's go with the next one. Manager Park avoids making comments that may sound unrespectful or irrespectful. Manager Park avoids making comments that may sound unrespectful, not respectful. This wouldn't make sense, right? Why would you avoid making a comment that may sound respectful? So uh -huh. how would you translate this really quick? Somebody else? Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> translating it to Spanish? Yep. yep. Oh. Um, como que se evita evita hacer algún comentario acerca del o oh, cómo suena con respecto a eso que pueda sonar que pueda sonar eh, si pueden mm. corregir su libro si lo han impreso es unrespectful que puedan sonar respetuosos y ajá, debería ser irrespetuoso ah Sí, porque no tiene sentido decir un sí. comentario que pueda sonar respetuoso, o sea, uh -huh. disrespectful or unrespectful. Okay. okay, next. The company considered, the company considered hiring experts to enhance the relationships between employees. company considered hiring experts to enhance the relationships between employees. Mm -hmm. La empresa consideró contratar expertos para mejorar relaciones entre los empleados. <laughs> Perfect. Very good. Okay, next, we enjoy working with people from different cultural backgrounds. This is very simple. Somebody else, we enjoy working with people from different cultural backgrounds. Okay. That's easier. Somebody, Carla? Nosotros disfrutamos trabajar con personas con diferentes antecedentes culturales. Yeah. Very good. How else can you say backgrounds? We enjoy working with people from different cultural backgrounds. Disfrutamos trabajar con personas de diferentes um, orígenes, tal vez. Orígenes culturales, uh, principios culturales, whatever. Okay, next, people at the office keep talking. This is very useful. People at the office keep talking about the new employee from Japan. They're trying to learn his language. Carla, Nelson, <laughs> Wendy. Eh, uh -huh. la, las personas de la oficina continúan hablando con el nuevo empleado de Japón. Ellos están tratando de aprender su lenguaje. Very close. Just the, the, the connector about. Uh -huh. They keep talking about the new employee from Japan. Continúan hablando acerca de 
El nuevo empleado de Japón. O sobre el nuevo empleado de Japón. And the last one. A true leader. Ojo. A true leader doesn't mind training people on cultural acceptance. Okay, a true leader doesn't mind training people on cultural acceptance. Un verdadero, un verdadero líder mm -hmm. no piensa entrenar a las personas sobre ser aceptados culturalmente. Mm, very close. When you say I don't mind, she, mm. he doesn't que mind. Piense. No, I don't mind about it. No, 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 I don't mind. No. No me. Don't matter. It doesn't matter. That's right. He don't matter. Weird. It does, he doesn't matter. He doesn't mind. No me importa. Mm -hmm. So a true leader doesn't mind training people on cultural acceptance. Edwin? Hi, teacher. Will you translate that? A true leader doesn't mind training people on cultural acceptance. Mm -hmm. What do you understand by that? Uh, un verdadero uh, líder no piensa en entrenar personas en cultura aceptando. Hmm. Um, okay, uh, I don't mind is a synonym of I don't care. He doesn't mind, he doesn't care. Uh, como que no le importa entrenar personas de, de, de en, en otra cultura. Okay, what does the uh, preposition on mean? On. Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. There is okay. con on. Okay, I put the the cup. Sobre? I, exactly. Sobre. Sobre. Okay, so it's a synonym of about. So a true leader doesn't mind training people on cultural acceptance. Un verdadero, a un verdadero líder no le importa entrenar personal sobre aceptación cultural. Okay. Bien. Uh -huh. Sorry. Doesn't mind uh, was meaning no le importa. Doesn't mind. Yeah, okay. it's a synonym of I don't care. I don't mind. Okay. She doesn't mind. That's right. So, uh, una, un recordatorio. Todo lo que califica un nombre va antes del nombre en inglés. In this, in this case, the adjective goes before the noun. So, cultural acceptance. Okay. I'm going to split the class just for a minute so you can work on these exercises. Okay. It's very simple. This is on page 11, and it's just six exercises using ING. And again, remember, after these verbs, you will use ING, okay? That's all. That's what it, this is all about. I'll send you this right now to your WhatsApp so you can have it handy if you need it. Oh, oh, and well, just one thing. I'm, I'm sending you another image to support this idea. Hay algunos uh, leisure activities. Okay, okay, Rosalina can have access. There are some leisure activities that where you use go and ing, but that's specifically for those leisure activities on your WhatsApp. Go hiking, go jogging, go sailing, go bowling, go biking, go shopping. So I can tell you, let's go shopping. Let's go biking, let's go hiking. You got it? Got it? Okay. Got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so there you go. Um, I'm going to split the class so you can do these exercises on page 11. 
so we can practice for a little bit the verb plus ing form. We are 13 right now. Okay, let's go. Let's go, guys. Eh, si se pueden unir, no sé si me escuchan, se pueden unir a sus grupos, porfa. Hay un grupo en el que solo hay una compañera, nadie más se ha unido. Communication in the workplace. That makes sense. This presentation about you said um, uh, make because, communication uh, in the world. Making, making because we need to uh, uh, we mm -hmm. need to use ing right, and the verb here is oh. make, so we need to say we need to put making. So he considers his presentation about making the diversity in and communication mm -hmm. in the workplace. Yeah, that's right. That makes sense, okay. right? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, okay. good. Okay. Let me just write it down just real quick. Yeah, I, I will do it just I will do the same thing too. <laughs> Give me a couple of seconds. Or you write it down on your computer or on your notebook? No, right now in the computer. All I right. have a yeah, the block. It's better. Okay. Okay. So long as like um just in the meantime that you are um writing that one, I will start with the second one. Good. Hello, everybody. In this, hello, in this hello, second hello. One. hello, hello, everyone. Okay, let's start with number two. Okay, um, let's see, it is. They suggest, um, let me see. They suggest a team. Insures, that insures. Mm, I don't know. That insures creating. That mm, let's see, all diversity issues are handled. In the appropriate, appropriate mm. manner. They suggest. No. Oh, maybe it could be then they suggest creating a, a team. A team that, a ensures, team that ensures all diversity issues. Ensure. Mm -hmm. uh, all diversity issues are handled in the appropriate manner. manner. I'm not sure, so diversity, mm -hmm. that should be the last part. Our handle 
in the appropriate manner. Okay. They suggest creating a team that ensures all diversity issues are handled in the appropriate manner, right? Yeah. I think that should be the second one. Now okay. with the the other one, um, do you want to try Nelson? The number three. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Creating. Mm. They suggest. Okay. okay. In a second, all diversity issues create. Okay. <clears throat> the the, the, the subjects are handled in the rapport manner. No. The subjects I, I create um all the mm, all diversity issues create are hungry. Mm. They suggest create Oy. all diversity issues create oh, no, no. Okay. no 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 me suena <laughs> next next Try to next. I guess the, the number two, all diversity issues are handled in the appropriate manner. Um, manner. manner. Mm, para, para me. Eh, ay. They suggest are handled in the appropriate manner all diversity issues. Siento que me falta una palabra aquí. Hacemos la tercera. Ajá. The boss keeps insisting uh, we have what was in the month. Issues. We have communication. Yeah, we have communication issue with the new employees. <laughs> yeah. Okay, number five. She didn't mind participating. Participating. Participating along teams. 
The manager dis discounts preparing uh, new activities to a strand in work. The manager? The manager discusses, discusses preparing. Activities? Think work. Think. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, you can read it if you want to understand if we really well or not. Okay. Well, consider making his presentation about diversity and community. Four? Sorry. Okay. Uh, number two, they suggest creating a team that ensures all diversity issues are handled in the appropriate manner. Okay, three. Number three. Yes. And employees enjoy working with a extensive range of people who have to do different. Appreciate, avoid, consider, mm -hmm. discuss, I just suggest to. Suggest to. Yes. And after he says, insist, insist. Insist, insist. See. Teacher insists uh, this verb is not in the list, yes? Insist. Insist. No, yeah. What's the discussion? No, but it's one of it's one of them. It's one. It's in song. <laughs> Other song. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. Hello, Rosita. Hello. Are you how are better? You? Yes. <laughs> yes. I was. Oh my God. <laughs> I know. I, Don't I worry. lost my passion. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm going to try early, but. <laughs> I know. You're welcome, Rosie. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the number four. The sentence number four. You can share the screen if you want. The boss insists. No use you in a hand. Yeah. The boss, the boss kept insisting. Keep. The boss, the boss keep, kept, kept. Ah, yeah. Uh -huh, the, the boss, boss kept, kept insisting. To insisting. <laughs> yeah. The boss kept insisting. The boss insisted to pass. Keep. Keep. Keep uh, insisting. Mm -hmm. We insisting. have communication issues. 
with the new employees? Insisting, insisting we have communication issue with the new employees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have communication communication issues with the new employees. The new employees. Yeah. Number. Do you agree, Sandrita? Mm -hmm. The yes. boss keep, keep insisting. We had communication issue with the new employees. The number five. Five, then, because the message was up. She didn't, she didn't mind participating. Mm -hmm. From five. From Five, said no, me. No, five, number five. Uh-huh. My she didn't uh -huh. she did she didn't mind participating um along things from abroad or from abroad along things. Let me she let didn't me mind participating ellos no les importa participar. Alone from abroad. From hmm. abroad. Hmm. Alone thing. Alone thing. I don't to participate. I don't want to participate. My, don't you say my, my thing? Oh, oh. No, she didn't no, participating. participating she the didn't mind participating. A long thing from Along abroad. Uh -huh. A long thing from abroad. From abroad. A long yeah. uh -huh. A long thing from abroad. Yeah. Okay. She didn't. She didn't mind participating she along things from abroad. Mind participating, participating along things, along things from abroad. abroad. Okay, number six. To strength, to strength in work, the manager mm -hmm. prepare new activities, discusses. Okay. The, the manager, manager discuss, discuss, uh huh, preparing, preparing new, new activities, new activities to strengthen strength. team work. Strength. The manager, the manager preparing. The manager preparing. The manager discussed, preparing? discussed preparing. Ah, verb, the, the uh, adjective. Uh, how do, to how verb. do you pronounce uh, yes, yes. strengthen? I'm sorry, Rosita. How do you pronounce strengthen? Strengthen? Strengthening. It's, it's, I'm sorry, teacher. Strength, what? Strengthen. Strengthen. It's strengthen. With strengthen. T, T, S, T, yes, the, the sound similar. Strengthen. Strengthen. It's strengthen. 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 It's strengthen. Strengthen. Yeah, but that, that's not the ING, right? So the manager. The manager. Prepare. Discussed. Discussed. To a strength. Discussed. The manager discuss preparing, preparing, ah, preparing new activities, activities new oh, activities okay. to strengthen the teamwork. Strengthen. To strengthen. To strengthen. 
teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork. Entonces sería the manager. Discuss. Discuss preparing. New preparing. Preparing. Discuss preparing new activities. Mm -hmm. Strain team board. Yeah. Strengthening. We completed, teacher. You're done. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, so let's continue. How many are we? Are we back? No, we're missing some of your classmates. Let me start sharing the screen so we can um, agree or disagree. Okay, what will be number one? Who wants to give me number one? I think sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you <laughs> okay? Sorry, sorry, Patricia. <clears throat> um, I think it is he considers making his presentation about diversity and communicate communication in the workplace. He considered making his presentation about diversity and communication in the workplace. About diversity and communication in the workplace. It's not going to fit. Okay. So he considers making his presentation about diversity and communication in the workplace. So what is underlined what is underlined should go on ING, right? I understood that. Great, thank you, Kenya. Number two. Me mm teacher. -hmm. They should best create a team that ensures all diversity ensues are handled in the appropriate manner. They create and they suggest, I, I didn't write the team. Okay, they suggest creating a team that ensures all diversity issues are handled in the appropriate manner. Okay, sounds great. Number three. Thank you, Walter. With an extensive range of people to have to be different. Okay, an extensive range of people, of people who have cultural differences. <laughs> okay, cultural differences. It's not gonna fit. 
cultural differences. Number four, what is the subject here? Number four. The boss kid, the boss kid, insisting we have communication. Issue with the new employee. Communication. Uh -huh. okay. With the new employees. Okay, now remember this is in past. Okay, keep, kept, keep kept, bus kept insisting, kept insisting, we had the communication issues with the new employees. The bus kept insisting. Yeah, I noticed on your group, you were adding the S to this verb, and that verb is in past, be careful. The bus kept insisting, we had communication issues with the new employees. Number five, somebody else. She didn't mind. She didn't mind. Mind participating along teams from abroad. Along team. Along teams. Uh huh. From, from abroad. 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 Okay. She didn't mind participating along teams from abroad. Um. New words. New words, no? Do we all understand what is um, abroad? And what's the meaning of alone teams? Yeah, okay. Number six. Wilfredo, you're so quiet. Gloria, I haven't heard. Gloria, Carla, Gabriela, Wendy, Sandra, Pamela, hello. Um, me, teacher. Gabby, okay. Hey, uh, number six. Mm -hmm. The manager discuss uh, preparing new activities to a strong teamwork. Mm -hmm. Strengthen, to strengthen, to strengthen, strengthen, strengthen. That's the way. Excellent. The manager discusses preparing new activities to strengthen the teamwork, to strengthen teamwork, to strengthen teamwork. Great job. So you got it, right? After these verbs, you must use the ing form of the verb if what you're going to mention is another verb. I have, well, I have a doubt to hear. Yeah. What's the meaning be between abroad and foreign? Um, hmm. Well, I'm abroad. Well, foreign is abroad and foreign? Uh, a, foreign a foreign country is, is okay, abroad is most used for very far distances. So. Uh, if I am abroad, I'm overseas, most likely. Like London, for example, I could be abroad. Sometimes... And I can, mm -hmm. Like people, I can be a foreign in a country. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I was about to tell you. Foreign is a noun. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Being abroad is a noun too, but, but it refers to long distances. I'm in a foreign country. I'm out of the country. I'm... I'm abroad. I am abroad. Exactly. Being a foreigner is something else. Okay. Uh, hay un libro que se me encanta, Rosalena, para que se relaje. El extranjero. No sé quién lo escribió, pero alguien, cuando estaba pequeño, alguien me regaló ese libro. No sé qué lo hice. Era un librito, it was a, like a pocketbook. Bien pequeño, tenía una rosa en la portada. 
y habla, de, hablaba de una de una pareja inusual de hecho um, es una novela publicada en 1942 él ah, <ríe> nada más y nada menos creo que esa es Albert Camus el punto es de que es un extranjero que se casa con una con una latina de hecho una, una india según entiendo y se la lleva a vivir a Estados Unidos. Es, es todo ese drama que vivió ella, habiéndose casado con, con un americano. Bien bonita esa, esa novela. Nunca se me olvida, no sé por qué. It's very nice. Por, por, porque él, siendo su esposa, la llevaba a las fiestas y la vestía con el traje autóctono de ella. Como ella no entendía ni, ni tepa de, de, de English, so she was like, right? She was like an attraction for her. Ya vamos, ya, ya vamos a hablar de eso. ¿eh? Ok, so, grammar topic. Uh, what Ana Selmi was asking for me for a uh, long time ago. Ana Selmi and Nelson are in San Francisco together. Are you together in San Francisco, guys? <laughs> ok, so Ana Selmi was telling me about how, how, how do we use commas to separate to separate um, when we when we write. I always say to students, you know, I always tell students to think about having a conversation. Where are you emphasizing when you use a comma? Because this is the same as in Spanish. Now, don't get a headache for this topic. Look at the topic, how to use commas to, to set off parenthetical parenthetical information oh my god it's like an extended pause listen listen cultural diversity in a company so they say is indeed a necessity to further improve growth next example take for example the activities in which employees participate that facilitate understanding and tolerance of differences. Notice the pause, it's an extended pause. In a fast changing world, where the ability to innovate is now recognized as the main competitive edge, companies must seek to create more diverse teams. So there's a, an extended pause when you use this type of commas. Is it used in connectors? Yes, but not, I haven't seen this, this punctuation form in short connectors. I haven't seen it on, on short connectors like, but also, you know, um, nevertheless, it's not common to see them on, on one, let's say, let's call them, one connector phrase, okay? If you know what it is, you have, so they say, for example, and then you have, um, oh my God, how, how do we call this? We have a phrasal connector, is a phrase connector. You see that whole phrase that adds more information. Are, is this making sense? Uh huh. Is that making sense? It's like making a gossip, for example. Okay, uh, Kenya. Yes. <laughs> you know, Rosalena is was having a lot of problems to connect to Zoom. That's what I heard. But then she was able to connect to Zoom. I just made a pause. So that pause is divided by two commas. Are we clear on that? Okay, this parenthetical element is sometimes called added information. Hey, added, 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 added added information. This information is separated 
from the rest of the sentence by commas. Let's read the next excerpt. The distinction between extra and needed information can be a subtle one, you know, like, puede ser sutil esa pausa. When in doubt, try deleting the word or phrase to see whether the information it provides is merely supplemental or truly necessary to the sentence. En pocas palabras. Esto sirve para agregar más información. A veces esa información puede ser relevante o no. Entonces, ¿cómo yo sé si agregarlo o no? Quítalo. Quita esa, esa frase que estás agregando entre esas dos comas para ver si es necesaria o no la información. Veamos. Um, la diversidad cultural en una compañía, según dicen, ojo, eh, so they say, según dicen, es de hecho una necesidad para para mejorar el crecimiento para mejorar aún más el crecimiento de nuevo la diversidad cultural en una compañía según dicen es de hecho una necesidad para mejorar más el crecimiento lo voy a quitar la diversidad cultural en una compañía es de hecho una necesidad para mejorar más el crecimiento. ¿Será que es necesario decir, según dicen, so they say? It's not necessary. It's not necessary, right? But if I do, then I have to make that pause. Es como agregarle suspenso a lo que estoy diciendo. Pero eso, según dicen, es como que no es creíble para quien lo está. Exacto. Puede ser que incluso me afecte lo, lo que quiero transmitir, ¿verdad? Y por eso es importante pensar antes de hablar. Que no comparte, que no comparte la. Mm -hmm. Eso. Exactly. Ok. Let's look. Who can do the next example? ¿Quién puede explicar el siguiente ejemplo de la manera en la que yo lo acabo de hacer? This is easy. Come on, guys. You can do it. No idea? Okay. Let's see. Take. I, I am trying to. Take yes, that. please, Anna, let, me, let me try. Go. Eh, toma, por ejemplo, las actividades en las cuales los empleado, empleados participan para facilitar el entendimiento y la, tolera, y la tolerancia en las diferencias. De diferencias, muy bien. De diferencias. Ese that sería que facilite o facilita. Uh -huh. Que facilite el entendimiento y tolerancia de diferencias. De, de diferencias. Very good. Ahora quitemos el, por ejemplo. Toma las actividades. Aquí parece como que sí es importante el, por ejemplo. Porque eh, como que le está dando cierta instrucción. Ya Pero suena más toma. a una instrucción si no agrego ese, ese conector, Ajá. ¿verdad? Sí, toma las actividades en las cuales los empleados participen para mejorar, para facilitar el entendimiento y tolerancia de diferencia. Podría, podría. Porque ya suena a una sugerencia con alguien. En cambio, eh, por ejemplo, <ríe> al usar ese, por ejemplo, eh, estoy haciendo exactamente eso, dando un ejemplo en el enunciado. En cambio, si no uso esa frase, esa palabra, eh, suena a que es una sugerencia. O que pierde el sentido. Dice. No, no pierde el sentido. Eh, veamos. Toma las actividades en las cuales los empleados participan para facilitar el entendimiento y tolerancia de las diferencias. Eso te va a ayudar. Son, son unas sugerencias. La entonación, la entonación debería de cambiar. En cambio... Si yo digo, toma por ejemplo las actividades, ya, ya suena a que estoy pintando un ejemplo de lo que estamos hablando. Exactly. Ok. And last one. Rosalina, come on. Oh en un mundo cambiante, 
donde la habilidad de innovar está siendo reconocida como una una oh my god como un I forgot age. I know this tier. Ah, entonces, ¿qué hago? Muy bien. ¿Qué hago entonces? Busco la palabra age. Ahora, me va a parecer como borde, orilla. No, yeah. es que, no, no, el margen podría yeah. ser. Veamos. De, okay. Entonces, no tiene sentido buscar, quiero hacer énfasis en esto, Ana, uh -huh. eh, Rosalina. Uh -huh. Si no tiene sentido buscar la palabra age, ¿qué hago? Entonces, agrego más palabras antes de age. Competitive age. Okay. Competitive age. Para entender la palabra age en el contexto en el que está en el texto. Esto lo pueden hacer cuando estén leyendo algún libro en inglés, porque todos en esta clase yo sé que leen libros en inglés. So let's see. Ventaja competitiva. Mm, okay. La ventaja competitiva principal. Ah. Okay, okay. No, no, no literal. Ajá, no, cabal, no es literal, muy bien. Ajá, por eso decía el borde competitivo. O sea, no, Ajá. Ajá. En, un mundo, en un mundo cambiante, en un mundo que cambia rápidamente, donde la habilidad de innovar es ahora reconocida como, ¿qué dijimos? Se me olvidó, como el principal borde competitivo. Ajá, podría ser, ajá. Ajá. Las compañías. Las compañías deben buscar y crear, deben buscar para innovar eh, more diverse, más diversidad de grupos, de equipos. Muy cerca. A ver, las compañías deben buscar crear, crear más equipos diversos. Diversos, ok. Yo hubiese más dicho, eh, con la D al final hubiese puesto ese diverse, more diverse teams. Equipos más diversificados, más diversificados, no, no hubiese dicho diversos. Bueno, se entiende. Entonces, ¿será que necesito ese donde la habilidad de innovar es ahora reconocida como la ventaja competitiva principal? No. Sí, es necesario. Veamos, Rosalena. Leámoslo sin esa. Esa información para, para, ¿cómo lo diría? Parentesical, parentesical, oh my God. Ajá. En un mundo que cambia rápidamente, donde la habilidad para innovar. No, 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 sin eso. Ah, Ajá. donde la habilidad, sin esto. Sin, sin todo lo que va a entrar No, entonces no. ¿Por qué? Veamos, en veamos, un mundo, veamos. En un mundo que cambia rápidamente, las compañías buscan crear más diversidad de grupos, sí. diversidad de equipos. Deben buscar, dice, deben buscar cre crear, los, los equipos. crear más grupos más diversos. Equipos divers diversos. Más equipos diversos. Se puede de las dos formas, teacher. De las Exacto. dos formas. Exacto. Ahora, ¿qué me está dando a entender esa, esa información en, entre comas? Uh -huh. Está dando como el énfasis de por qué es importante. La sugerencia. El por qué. Eso. ¿Por qué esta consideración? Ok. Simple as that. Ok. Let's see. Now we have a, a small reading. But before, oh my God, it's 9.03. It's 9 o'clock on a Thursday. Guys. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell run. You're very very close to Christmas. Just can't believe it. Okay, at let's the see. Company, at the company teacher, today arrived arrive someone that is uh, looking how he's going to decorate. Imagine. <laughs> he, he was thinking about decorating the office. Christmas. Yeah, decorating. yeah. That's yeah, good. Decorating. It's good. Christmas. Imagine, oh my God. Don't you like, don't you like the Christmas spirit? Yes, yes, but not, not but early. Not October. Not teacher. so early. Yes, I mean, early. <laughs> that way you enjoy it, you enjoy it more. You feel better. Yeah. In, you know? in October, only the, the mall is teacher. <laughs> the malls. <laughs> The malls the because malls it's pepper. very important the commercial season. <laughs> yeah. Moles, moles are a Mexican food. <laughs> 
<laughs> you just reminded me. Oh my God, I'm sorry, guys. I'm on a diet. So right now my brain is always thinking on food. I'm sorry. <laughs> Molly. Okay. Yeah, it's just, oh my God. Yeah, my cousin, uh, my cousin, rest in peace. She passed away a few months ago and, and she used to love Christmas. I mean, for her, it was the best season of the year. And you know what is weird? October, this October is weird. I mean, we are on October 20th already. And where's the wind? There's no wind. There's rain. A lot of rain. <laughs> this is the problem for the planet. Teacher. Yeah, the environment is suffering. A lot. Imagine, imagine, teacher. I was remember that the last year uh, we finished the course at December twenty first. What? Imagine, yeah, one year. Oh my god! I have the image in my mind when we when we were finished the 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 course in. We were finishing the, the course. December. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> what module? What module were you on? Um, I, oh my god! You don't remember. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Okay, guys. <laughs> let me do the attendance. It's 906 already. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. And here yet. Okay. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Thank you. Uh, Mencionen las cámaras, porfa. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Living present. Thank you. Are you sick? Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Makes sense. Sorry. Hope you get better. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Bien, chicos, me voy a tomar un minuto súper rápido para motivarlos un poco. Eh, yo de verdad les digo esto, esto que ustedes hacen es admirable. Tomar clases um, en su tiempo que es oro. Yo, yo lo sé. Sé lo difícil que es estar en sus zapatos. Ya he estado ahí. De hecho, actualmente estoy ahí. O sea, créanme que para mí estar acá también es un reto. O sea, porque tengo otro trabajo, otros trabajos a veces, eh, y no solo eso, ahorita antes de entrar a esta clase tuve que cocinar, eh, lavar los trastes, se vino una gran tormenta, mi esposa le agarró la hora y media para venir de los planes de renderos para acá, o sea, uh, lidiar con los niños, ella salió corriendo para la iglesia, yo me quedé acá con los niños dándoles de comer y todo, y ahí que la niña que yo quería ir, que no sé qué, o sea, son cosas normales del día a día, entonces, gracias por estar acá, de verdad, por ese sacrificio, animarlos a varias cosas, no solo a que estén acá, sino que, que piensen, fíjense que una cosa que más me ha costado en la vida es dejar de fumar. Yo siempre he fumado de los 14 años, o sea, y la que se fue, ese ángel que tengo ya en el cielo de este año se fue, eh, por culpa de ella, aprendí a fumar. <risa> Ahí, la, los primos, vean. La cosa es de que, lo que eso es lo que más me ha costado y lo que me ayudó fue pensar este no en, en, en el beneficio o sea no en no pensar en lo que en que lo que estoy haciendo ahorita ay cómo cuesta cómo cuesta hay que borrarse el cómo cuesta en el momento y pensar mejor en que después va a estar bien o sea en el caso de les pongo ese ejemplo porque es bien difícil es súper duro eh, cuando después de que que sería 16 ya no 26 años de estar haciendo lo mismo desgraciadamente, y gracias a Dios lo estoy superando, pero no pienso en el, el sacrificio que estoy haciendo ahorita, sino que en el beneficio que me va a traer luego, uno y dos, cuando entra la ansiedad, lo que hago es pensar, ahí después, ahí después. Entonces, yo, yo te pongo este ejemplo para que tú digas, pues, no me voy a conectar, ¿verdad? 
son puedo faltar dos días o tres de la clase no me voy a conectar solo como oye te voy a decir tal cosa es un ejemplo y, y venís y, y puedes decir no hombre voy a hacer el sacrificio ahora me voy a quedar después de la clase haciendo lo que me hace falta o me voy a quedar después de la clase estudiando lo que vimos o le voy a preguntar al teacher qué más podría hacer una hora después de la clase todos los días, todos los días. Yo les digo, he conocido gente muy, muy, muy humilde dentro de estos cursos, dentro de otras academias, que es increíble el sacrificio que han hecho. Y hoy en día yo me los encuentro y digo, wow, realmente vale la pena. Se los dice alguien que creció vendiendo pan francés y tortillas con su abuela. Y no, no, no sé ni cómo logré aprender a hablar inglés yo solo. Pero creo que es la misma necesidad la que te hace hacer cosas increíbles de verdad de verdad entonces ánimo ánimo si tú tienes un propósito con esto del inglés no lo soltes ya lo tenés escrito espero yo que lo tengas escrito ahí en la oficina donde recibí la clase así en grande así como yo que tengo una foto por ahí donde estaba así flaquísimo flaquísimo en el 2000 2004 pero así. no libras de amor dice <risa> Lamentablemente son demasiadas libras de amor ya. Sí, ya, ya. Entonces ya es necesario volver a eso. El punto es visualizarte. Una meta no la vas a alcanzar si no la visualizas. Entonces buscar la manera de visualizar eso, de tenerlo presente. Engaña tu mente. Poner la frase por ahí. Porque por si no lo sabías, tú me estás viendo a mí ahorita, pero con la vista periférica estás viendo todo tu alrededor. Y así como me estás poniendo atención a mí, es posible que estés poniendo atención a los demás a tu alrededor. Entonces, entrena tu cerebro, engañalo. Si todo el mundo te engaña, ¿por qué no te engaña tú mismo? ¿Sí? Es en serio. Um, si no, no, no lo he dicho en este módulo, es posible lo imposible, Omar Villalobos. En YouTube, es posible lo imposible, Omar Villalobos. Vas manejando, o en el bus, pasas por un anuncio de coca y ni cuenta te diste, pero tu vista periférica sí lo vio. Comprobadísimo. Diez segundos después, tengo sed. Otros 10 segundos más, una cosca en el ladito. Publicidad engañosa, no sé cómo llamarle eso. Ok, so, eso les quería decir. Gracias, primero que nada. Y, y segundo, hay que meterle, ok. Ya estamos cerca de terminar. So, let's continue. You're welcome. Ok, let's see. So, we have to read something about this. This is on your book, by the way. Okay, it's exercise nine on page 13. Exercise nine on page 13. Let me read the instructions. Read the following sentences. Identify whether or not they feature parenthetical information. Set off the parenthetical information from the rest of the sentence applying proper punctuation and then we will compare the answers here in the class okay so you have to read it it's just let me see six different um sentences okay the research of the research on benefits of multicultural teamwork and cultural tolerance which was published last year has shed light on new perspectives for companies to promote cultural diversity at work this is easy it's easy, okay? So let's do it together. I'm just gonna take a screenshot. Are we clear on what we're gonna do? Estamos claros en lo que vamos a hacer? Clear, please. Okay, I'm sending you this to your WhatsApp right now and I'll split the class really quick. Ah, una cosa, si sí necesito que nadie se quede aquí en este salón. Eh, anteriormente estuvo una compañera suya sola y pues se siente feo, ¿no? Que esa persona se quede sola esperando a alguien más. Ok, let's go. Thank you. 
mine as well. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so let's do the first one then. It says Okay. the the research on benefits of multicultural teamwork and cultural tolerance, uh, which was published published last year. I think there should be coma. Like the research and benefits of multicultural teamwork and cultural tolerance. Mm. Do you think there could be a comma under and then which was published uh, the, last year? mm, the research of benefits of multiple writing work and cultural tolerance, which was published, published last year, Toma, as to lie in the midst of Mm-hmm. Hmm. Tolerance, which was published last year, has shed light on new perspective for companies to promote cultural diversity at work. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah, because I remember the, the first Uh, example that we were doing before like um after for example here tolerance there was another word like where so i think which was mm -hmm. published last year should not be like uh really important for this phrase maybe yeah mm -hmm. the research benefit much of what you want to do which was published Mm -hmm. yes yes it's okay so i think it should be after tolerance and then probably another coma after last year so we can start the last phrase um like saying um yeah has shed light on new person perspective for companies to promote cultural diversity at work so yeah yeah I think so do you think that's okay or do you have any reference about it mm -hmm. no I, I'm agree I'm agree with you okay But I, but I'm trying to understand. <laughs> but oh yeah, it's the sound. Hey, progress. I'm okay, sorry. Uh, let's let's work in number one. Okay. Number one. The number one. Benefits. The research. on benefit of multicultural teamwork and culture, cultural tolerance with which was published last year has show chef how do you pronounce it like on new perspective like shell For the company yeah, to promote cultural diversity at work. Identify. Ah, derramado luces. Ah. I A like. new perspective of company to promote culture. Mm, in my opinion, the coma is the research, coma, and benefits of multi. Cultural teamwork and cultural tolerance, which. ¿En cuál fue publicado el último? Te Ha dado luz y también perspectiva para las compañías promover. Ajá, la investigación. Como en beneficios de los equipos multiculturales de trabajo y 
la tolerancia, la cultura. Cultura. ¿Cuál fue? Maybe Bravo. the reserve, coma, en benefit of multicultural teamwork and cultural tolerance, coma, which was published last year has light a new perspective for company to promote cultural diversity at work. Oh, no. <laughs> Serious. La investigación. Yes, maybe it's possible, period. Eh, coma. En beneficio del equipo. Fue publicada el último año. Ya. Yeah. Es posible, ¿no? Es yeah. posible. ¿Qué es? Number two. Number two. Inclusion. Initiative in most workplaces are usually poorly funded and disconnected from Porter General Training Programs. Iniciativa de inclusión. La mayoría de lugares de trabajo. In, in is, inclusion Initiative. Oh, no. Inclusion Initiative is most workplace. Eh, in are most usually... workplace. Come. Mm -hmm. Are usually poorly funded and disconnected from border general training programs. Use one it, comma. Comma in, in inclusion initiative, comma. In most workplace, comma. Are usually oh. poorly funded and disconnecting from border general training programs. Porque oh. uh -huh. puedes decirlo, inclusion initiative are usually poorly. Mm -hmm. Um, es extra información. Uh -huh. In most workplace. In my opinion. Number two. Say. Inclusion initiatives is most workplace are usually fully funded in this concept from board and inclusion. So, the so for me, number two is um, inclusion in activities. Mm -hmm. This one is... Um, for, for me, inclusion in his, in its Initiatives in most workplace, coma, for, para mí, para mí. The workplace are coma, the workplace coma are usually. Para mí así, así, eh, por lo menos ese pedazo. Es más. Okay. 
no sería inscripción en activities in most of place a visual coma en todo punto no sé no sé no sé Counterpart. 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 Yes, it's counterpart. Counterpart. Better understand. Mejor dice. Uh, una fuerza de cada diversa cultura. Better understand. And in Spanish, una fuerza laboral diversa opuesto a su contraparte uh, yes. entiende mejor el mercado. Diverso. Diverso. Yes. Uh -huh. Opposite is compact. Yes. Opuesto es contra. Ok. Yes. Six. The best way to achieve a product. To achieve a product in diversity. In diversity environment, in leadership. For example, but how we use the time strategy. For example, by example, by example, it's a cheap diverse environment. Leadership. By example, by Here. example, example. Yes. but trans to use the time strategy. Oh. I think the best. Yes. 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 Who who the char? I I. Bajar la pantalla. Quiero ver las anteriores. Ah, okay. I can, I can move. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> Final. Yes. Yes, yes, I think if the the oh, the ultimate. The, the last sentence is six. Mm -hmm. mm, let me see. Yes, only six.
Okay, was it difficult? I'm so sorry, I was not mute. So um, number one, who has number one? The research, research on benefits mm -hmm. of multi, multicultural teamwork and cultural tolerance, comma. Okay. Which was published last year, comma. Has she had a light on new perspective for company to promote cultural diversity at work. Exactly. I don't know where I should. Which was published. So he, this is the um, alternative option, let's see, of commas. The research of benefits of multicultural teamwork and cultural tolerance. Do we need this phrase, which was published last year? Do we need to emphasize? It's not necessary. It's not necessary. Very good, Nelson. Has shed light on new perspectives to companies to promote, for companies to promote cultural diversity at work. Okay, number two. Um, inclusion initiative comma in most workplace comma are usually poorly funded and disconnected from border general training programs. Totally I agree. Inclusion initiatives are usually poorly funded and disconnected from board broader general training programs. Do we need in most workplaces? Maybe. Could be. Excellent. Okay, so it's all up to the message that you want to transmit, right? Okay, number three. Who else? Come on. Okay, one more person. Uh huh. Excellent. Differences in interpretation of events can lead to miscommunication. Differences in interpretation of events, a combination among employees who speak a different language can lead to miscommunication. And this, this sentence makes reference to something very common. When there are um, different languages speakers at, at the workplace, and it's, it's called a language barrier. A language barrier, language barrier. Do you understand that? Language barrier, language barrier. That's the term when somebody has difficulty, you know, communicating on, on an environment when multiple languages are spoken. Next, number four, this is short. Come on, guys. Can you? I think maybe uh, di diversity, um, let me see, coma or mm -hmm. when it works. No, sorry, diversity when it works and then coma mm -hmm. increases profits for a company. There you go. Diversity when it works increases profits for a company. In other words, diversity increases profits for a company. Now, this is a clear example of the topic. Um, 
in one end, you're doubting, as Anaselmi said, you're doubting of what you're saying, diversity, when it works, increases profits for a company. Diversity increases profits for a company. Now, in the second example, you're, you're emphasizing that it works, you're, you're asserting, you're making sure. Okay, number five. Somebody, come on. A culturally diverse works, work folks, workforce opposite to its counterpart better understands diverse markets. Come on guys, come on guys. Sorry, I will try again. <laughs> please, please. Okay. Um, a culturally diverse workforce, coma, and then opposite to its counterpart, better understands uh, diverse markets. So I'm not pretty sure, but I think there should be just one coma, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. A culturally diverse workforce opposite to its counterpart, better understands diverse markets. A culturally diverse workforce better understands diverse markets. Who can translate this sentence? Did somebody translate the sentence? Una fuerza de trabajo con una fuerza de trabajo con diversidad cultural um, este opposite opposite es de contrario uh -huh. no pero es que es como cacofonía con su contraparte eh, <risa> opposite the other Claro, es cacofonía, pero sí, sí funciona. O pues a su contraparte. su contraparte, mejor entiende la diversidad de los mercados. Entiende mejor. La diversidad. Lo diverso de los mercados. Mercados diverso, diversos. Mercados diversos. Okay. De hecho, suena bien redundante eso, ¿verdad? A ver. Uh, y una clave, Ana Sermi y todos. Yo suelo decirle esto a los alumnos. Le dan para atrás. Okay. Claro, ¿cuál es el noun? Aquí workforce sería el noun. Entonces, un, ¿cómo dijo Ana Selmi? Me gustó. Fuerza de trabajo. Una, una fuerza, de, fuerza trabajo de trabajo. Con diversidad cultural. Uh -huh, o con diversamente, diversidad. no, con diversidad cultural. Con diversidad cultural, así tendría que ser. Uh -huh. Una fuerza de trabajo sí, culturalmente no diversificada, culturalmente diversa. Ajá. Carla? No sería mejor una fuerza laboral. También. Sí. Una fuerza laboral culturalmente sí. diversa, opuesta a su contraparte. Opuesta a su contraparte. Ajá. Mejor entiende. Ah, ah ahí. Entiende, entiende mejor. mejor. <risa> mercados. Mercados diversos. <risa> sí. A veces hay que leer para atrás. Entiende mejor a los. Diversos mercados, no mercados diversos. Mercados diversificados, mercados diversos. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. And the last one, the best way to achieve a productive and diverse environment is not just leadership by example, but through the use of detailed strategies. The best way to achieve a productive and diverse environment is not just leadership. I don't like the way it sounds. It's not just leading by example, but through the use of detailed strategies. Do you think we need a comma? We need we need to separate this, make emphasis on something? Yes, the best way to achieve a productive and diversity environment is not just leadership by example, comma, but through the use of detailed strategies. So you, you're saying that there's a comma here. Yeah. Just leadership by example. 
Mm. I don't know, Rick. <laughs> it's right to achieve the productivity mm -hmm. environment. Y, y no me gusta cómo suena. It's In not my just opinion, leadership by example. Uh -huh. In sense? my opinion, teacher is the best way to achieve a productive and diverse environment is comma not just leadership by example. Oh. Is mm. no. In, in that el, case, el is, el is, we will need to do this. Is is not just leading by example, no solo, but no solo es a través through the use of detailed strategies. Eh, no, fíjense que no, yo no, no creo que se necesite eh, separar con comas, hacer énfasis en eso. No solo no, es. Porque está dando directamente la clave de lo que se está diciendo. La mejor manera de alcanzar la productividad y un ambiente diversificado no es solamente guiando por el ejemplo o, o liderar dando el ejemplo, pero a través del uso de estrategias de deta detalladas, estrategias específicas. O so, sea, mm -mm, en este ejemplo sí no, no agregaría yo ninguna coma. Y esto, leadership... Porque está rara, está rara la redacción, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí, sí, aquí se está... Claro. Es, de hecho está mala la redacción. Leadership by example no existe, es leading by example. De hecho es una frase de, de gerencia, not just leading by example, but si pueden corregir eso en su libro. Okay. Good. Let's go with the next stage of this topic. Tonight we're talking about um, how to provide tips on, on how to deal with values. I'm going to send it to you again. How to provide tips um, on how to deal with values, religion, sexual differences in the workplace. So as a first step, we only have 17 minutes for this activity. I would like to share with you, I, I, I mean, most teachers will use um, a PowerPoint presentation, you know, but no, I want you to listen and comprehend because we are in, in advance too, right? So one of the main areas that you need to improve is your listening and comprehension especially on topics that we don't talk too much. So, okay, the main topic is um, tips on how to deal with values, religion, and differences in the workplace, you know, sexual differences on the workplace. Um, on this, this job that I got on call centers prior, uh, just pay attention, before working in call centers, I worked as many of you, uh, as an accounting auxiliary. Um, I worked in human resources, um, but mainly my job was that payroll, you know, you mentioned it, inventories. So it was very formal. In fact, I used to dress very formally and I loved it. I used to enjoy dressing up like Francine Hutter, let's see. Because I loved Frank Sinatra back then. So, but something, um, the first thing that I learned on my first job in the cinema was dealing with people from different, um, not cultures, but their behaviors, you know, the way they were raised, oh, from different backgrounds, different backgrounds, very humble people, some others that were humble, but they used to brag, you know. For example, there is a guy working there at the cinema still, just at the register, you know. So he used to believe he was the mom of Tarzan because he was selling the tickets, okay? He was there sitting on the computer, just selling the tickets. That was his job. And I'm talking about 15, 17 years ago, 17 years ago. Guess what? He is still working there. The same place. 
selling tickets. And he used to try to humiliate me. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't like him for some reason. But he was always like, you know, bragging all the time. Anyways, I moved. I left the cinema. And I started working at a, um, at a tire importing thing, you know, from the family. I learned a lot about administration. And then I moved to the call centers. So what I want to tell you is, man, there's a big difference between a formal job in administration and the call center industry. As we mentioned before, I had to learn, number one, to deal with gay people at the call centers. It was normal. You know, after coming from administration, very formal and everything, I remember my first days at the call center, I was very formal. <laughs> Everybody was like, what's going with this guy, right? It's a new boss maybe or something, right? And classic, classic yeah, a, a classic <laughs> suit, and not with a suit, but and not with a tie, but you know, a formal shirt and everything, wearing my belt. And, uh huh, right, and and well combined. You know, I like to do that. If I'm wearing brown socks, my belt is brown, and so the so the pants, so the shirt, whatever. So that's the way. But then. I started noticing that gay people was looking at me like, mm, right, nice guy, and my God, right. I was about to, I was about to get married. In the two or three years later, the thing is that that made me change my perspective of the world, because at first I was like, right, these guys, I, I shouldn't talk to them. I used to avoid them. But eventually, you know, I started having friends like that. They were so funny. I mean, they were always laughing all the time, even, even when they had problems. That's something that I learned from gays. They're always happy. Well, not happy, happy, but if they had, for example, economy problems, which was very common, very common. They didn't go like, oh, oh you know, complaining. No, let's. Let's work, right? I don't know. That's the way that they, they, they go. And um, so I learned to deal with, with that type of people, with that type of orientation. A second one, no religion. Atheos, uh, how do you say ateo in English? Atheo, right? I, I can remember. The thing is that people who didn't believe in God at all, they said, right? I don't think that kind of people exist, but they say they didn't believe in God. What could I do? I, I was not going to start in front of everybody, right? Hey, you have to. Believe. No. So I had to adapt to that environment. My father, my grandma, my whole family was like, why are you working there? And I was like, I mean, you, you are a lawyer and I make three times what you're making in your job. <laughs> Why do you think that I'm working there, <laughs> right? It was so funny, you know, and there's so many other cultures, the fit culture, the fit culture. There were a lot of people, you know, doing exercise and everything. And I have learned to, to deal with different cultures and contexts um, of all these differences, you know, culture, religion, different values and I learned to live alone I lived alone three years when I got the first call center job I moved to my own house you know and I started paying the house just by myself for three years <laughs> the funny thing I had a cat I had a cat so it was just me and the cat and some neighbors some neighbors thought that I was gay because I had a cat. I was living alone. I didn't do parties. I never, I have never drunk, you know. Oh, that is stereotype. That's an stereotype. Exactly. So they were like, 
this guy has a cat, he lives alone, he doesn't bring any girls, he doesn't throw a party. What's wrong with him, right? Strange guy. A, a strange teacher, guy, right? Teacher, but when 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 we have some different, uh, for him, for example, uh, religion values, it is it is so hard because I I don't know why the people that they are not uh, Catholic, from the same the same religion. Yeah. Let's say uh -huh. yes. they always try to, uh, but the judge. This, you are uh, wrong you are you are wrong but they are start to to i don't know but it's, it's trying to... trying to impose your beliefs yes and it doesn't happen just with religion it happens in every general teacher in general things in even at general. work even at work if you're an accountant and you start talking to rosalena or with an Aselmi, they may do things different in accounting you know and that is up to you if you agree or want to impose your opinion, mm -hmm. which is not correct in any sense, religion, job yeah. wise, you don't have to impose Politician, yourself. Politician, topic teacher. Oh, no, 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 that's not okay. I mean, just let, let the others do whatever they want to do and do your best. You know what's funnier with, Fredo? so they thought I was gay, right? I had a cat, I live alone. And one year after, no, a year and a half later, a friend, a friend, a friend from church, he left the seminario. He was studying to become a priest. Yeah. And he fell in love. He fell in love with a, with a, a sister at church. So he thought, you know what? I cannot be a priest. I'm in love with the sister, so I'm living now I need where to live. So I, he moved with me. Now the neighbors, the neighbors started thinking, this guy has, has a cat, now has a boy. Mm. <laughs> hey, and, it, we, and we used to cook. It, check it, check it. We check used it, to cook, it, eat together, watch movies together. <laughs> Just two guys in a, in a house. Man, that was so weird. Man, but, you know, I had my girlfriend, which is my, my wife now. Yeah, and he is married with this this lady, and they have a company. They started a business, a dental business, which is really big right now. So it's life, man. You just have to get used to it. <laughs> Rosalind is enjoying the story. <laughs> okay, now I enjoy because I have a new neighbors. There are two men, and I and I, mm, I was wondering. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the, che the checklist, right? It's so difficult. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. But is is a reality teacher in the the everything is changed. Has changed. Has changed. The world has changed. I think this is coming in the it's in the changing. United States. It's changing. It's changing. Everything is changing. It's, it's but changing. Th that that is part of life. When a guy moves alone in the United States, I have I have heard from my brother that is normal to see three guys, yeah. two guys living yeah. in an apartment because Teacher, of during this week, I have um, seminary uh, training, a specific training, the topic, technical topic. But the trainer is a trans really person. And for me, it's impact because my environment is very, very if not, not formal, traditional, traditional, tra traditional. Mm -hmm. But in, in my workplace now is um the, the the topic of diversity is uh very important very important but, mm -hmm. but um the ex my experience was um the the uh, the trainer uh, i am not i am not sure what is the the pronoun right 
in, in my case, because I need more, more information about that. Mm -hmm. But admirable because- Admirable? Admirable because the knowledge, the knowledge, it was very, very- Knowledgeable. 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 Yes. Knowledgeable. There you go. He's very knowledgeable. knowledgeable. He huge, huge knowledgeable. And share with the maybe 300 people in- What? In, he, he's conducting, Spanish, he's conducting a training Spanish, for 300 English people. English and Portuguese. In Portuguese? What? Yeah. Is his name Freddy by any chance? Is his name Freddy by any chance? His name, I'm sorry, teacher. Freddy, Freddy, no? Freddy. Yeah, his name? No, no it's Daniel. Okay. Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, okay. Mm -hmm. It's just that I, I, I had a friend, actually my first, mm -hmm. my first call center job, the person who, who interviewed me, he was gay, but he was a polyglot, polyglota. He could talk six languages, six languages. And he was very kind, you know, he, it was an airline, I think I told you. I had to learn 252 city codes, airport codes in a month and a half. So he was very comprehensive, you know, always helping everybody. It was amazing. And later, later, I found out that he became transgender. He became a woman, basically. That's what they said, you know. And he started talking more like a woman, acting like a woman, then dressing up, and then he had surgery. In, in conclusion, teacher, in my case, it was a lesson, le, le, lesson? A lesson? Mm -hmm. A lesson, because I, I need to change. Your point of view. Yeah. Your perspective. Yeah. I think we all have to do it anyways. I mean, by changing your point of view, your perception about these uh, people from different genders, you are you don't have to uh, lose your your yourself. You know, you are who you are, and, and your beliefs are your beliefs. Your values are your values. Just let them be. Let them be. That's it. Become friends with them. I mean, if you want, that's okay. But set your limits that's important set your limits because i had trouble sometimes you know they with my with my wife which was my girlfriend back then because some of them were hugging me and everything right and, and she was like hey what's going respect on there the teacher in all contexts respect yeah, yeah. and but it's, it's so funny sometimes bien Aquí en El Salvador somos otro rollo con eso. Súper rápido. Vivía solo en Los Álamos, en la Sacamil. Caminaba todos los días al mercadito, a la Rosario, a comprar pan dulce. Una de esas iba caminando para la Rosario. Y venía uno de estos personajes con delantal. Y en mi vista periférica dijo una mujer, vea, con delantal. Cuando pasó la par mía, me puse helado. Porque me dijo, sabroso. Y yo, wow. helado, sabroso, me dijo yo pero me quedé congelado parado yo pálido creo que me puse ¿cómo fue eso? y me quedé traumado con esa frase en un momento después me puse a reír y yo, Dios mío, no puede ser but anyways it is what it is just be careful, ok nowadays just be careful you don't know <laughs> ok guys les quería hacer reír un rato, ok Bien, les veo mañana, esta noche me quedaré. Ayer estuve con Gabriela. Ok. Edwin, we haven't had our 10 minutes. I'm falling asleep, teacher. <laughs> Edwin, do you have 10 minutes for me? Yes, of course. Ok, cool. Let's stay 10 minutes. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Yes, Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. Here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. 
Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. She was here. Okay, she's sick. Rosalena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And yeah. Present. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. I'll see you tomorrow. Sé que mañana viernes el cuerpo lo sabe, pero no. Okay. Don't forget. <laughs> Be here. Be here. Okay. Good night, guys. Good night. <laughs> Walter, you prepared it. Hey, bye bye. <laughs> Good night, sir. See you tomorrow. Hey, what's up, Ben? How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great too. It is what it is, you know. Oh no, oh. they say they say wait, wait, wait. They say same old, same old. Same old. Yeah, I, I heard that. Your oh. your buzz, your buzz, right? <laughs> hey, how are you? Eh, same old, same old. Same old. <laughs> but I like the way you say when someone is, hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. I, I like that. It's better. Sounds, yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, is it, that's a, that's a, that's a huge difference between Salvadorians and Americans. As yeah. a Salvadorian, you go like, ¿Cómo estás? Ay, pasándola, sobreviviendo. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> no. I mean, you, you may not, you may not hear that from an American unless it is true. And if it is true, mm -hmm. they may go like, ah, just going through some blue times, you know, mm -hmm. I feel. And kids and women, kids and women, they used to go like, um, I feel blue, you know, I'm feeling mm -hmm. blue, I'm feeling blue. So what's going on at work? Uh, very tired, teacher. Uh, I went to Guatemala again. <laughs> but do you, do you get tired of driving? Yeah, of course, teacher. What? Because, because almost um, I I been driver for for almost eight hours, more nine, because I let me see, I start driving at seven. Started then. I started driving at seven and I arrived over there around 11.30 because the traffic over there is very, it's, it's worse than here. And, and they are fixing the streets over there. They're repairing, they're repairing the streets. Yeah, they're, re, they're repairing the streets. And actually that makes more traffic. Wow. Yeah. Yes. I was watching a video today uh, about a, a private private company mm -hmm. build, building a corridor, you know, uh, an alternate um, road, an alternate road, and you paid like 10 quetzales. Yeah, that's true. To go through that road. It, is, it looks nice. It looks like Surf City. Yeah, it, it's better than Surf City. And actually, you, you have to pay the 10, 10 quetzales. Uh, most of the people who live over there, they do pay because it's more fast and, and uh, really a, a boy a lot. It's faster. It's, fa it's, well, it's more faster. Uh, and it's faster. It's faster. And you avoid a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're, they're preferred to pay. Do you like Guatemala? Huh? Do you like Guatemala? Of course, yes. It's better than here <laughs> really yeah. in what sense i mean the, the 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 climate the weather is better the weather is is the most beautiful it, because it's always it's, it's, it's always fresh and the temperature came around 10 or 9 what so, degrees yeah especially frihanes frihanes is the most uh, frihanes is is a is a city from guatemala and is is the most cold. And it's I the, go there. It's the coldest. 
is the coldest city. Coldest, coldest city uh, in Guatemala. Fajanes. Fajanes, yeah, you can search. In Guatemala, oh. I, I went to Guatemala once when my mom uh, came in 2004. Mm -hmm. and we were driving to the airport. Mm -hmm. Fajanes. Mm -hmm. And we, we were driving to the airport and I never forget the mm -hmm. my favorite trees, you know, the cypress, cypress trees. Mm -hmm. The smell, the fresh air, exactly what you're mentioning. Yeah, that's yeah. that amazing. Okay. Yeah. But I, I have I I have been going to, to so many times that I get bored anymore. <laughs> it's a little yeah. town, right? It's a little what? A little town is not a city. It's, right. it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's like a town, yeah. But it's like, how, how can I say this? Compared to El like, Salvador? It's like Santa Elena, where they live uh, rich people, you know? What? Really? Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, it's the town is, 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 um, is como like, it's como una comunidad, se podría decir, pero los alrededores de the Frijanes is like community, but the surroundings <laughs> you so can the, do it. Come on, uh huh. So, the all, all around the, the Frijanes, there, there is like rich living, rich people live there. Yeah, yeah. I see that. I'm looking at that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and it's very beautiful. But, but the, the, the is it expensive? It is expensive. Yeah, mm. well, Quetzalas are not as expensive as dollars here yeah but i don't know um so it's 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 i think it's the same thing as here because of it's all uh they had they had everything over there there is price marks there is pollo campero there's mcdonald's everywhere or do you have to drive a little bit to reach those places no, it, it, there is there are everywhere mm -hmm. Mm. There are, uh, mm -hmm. Will you live there? No, never. I just go over there to pick up. Uh, no, I mean, what I'm saying is, would you like to live in a place like that? Um, probably yes, <laughs> because the weather. Because I, I, I don't like here the because heat. it's very, it's hot. Yeah, yeah, me too. I like, I, I like the the cold weather. Yeah, me too. But you no, know, it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of hard to go over there and try to to ask for permission to live over there. And if, I think, mm -hmm. in fact, that's a common issue between me and my wife. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I like the cold weather, and, and she don't like she doesn't like the the cold weather. I I sleep with a fan. Mm -hmm. and she hates that. Does that happen to you? It's the same thing happened to me. Oh, the same thing. And you know what? Uh, like four years ago, we tried to emigrate to Swiss to Switzerland. Sweden. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Swiss, uh, Swiss, yeah. Yep, Sweden. Because my sister, she she got married with a Swedish man. Swedish. And, a Swedish. Mm -hmm. uh, Swedish. Uh -huh. So we try. We she she he paid. Well, both pay our the pass the, the, the trip. ticket, ticket. The trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we, when we arrive over there, we go to immigration with my family, my wife and my daughter, and we ask if I if we ask for asylum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Asylum. As, as, uh huh. So, but we then again because uh, asylum is just for countries that are in war, as mm -hmm. Ukraine right now. Mm -hmm. but we are not in work mm -hmm. but we uh, explain that we are we that if we come back to El salvador where probably we we can die because there, we have uh, how do you say amenaza from from Thre do you have threatens threatens from gay members mm -hmm. gang members mm -hmm. <laughs> so but they don't believe in us they didn't they didn't believe they, they didn't believe in us so we just uh quit Limit. for uh, we just quit for the asylum and they pay the immigration pay our ticket and we return oh. we, we live we live over there for one year oh for a year really for a year yes and that, that was a cool experience and you already had your yeah. baby 
Yes, we already have our baby. I have two daughters. I have one she, that she's 11 that she went with us. And we, I have one, I have another one that she's three years that we made it over there. <laughs> <laughs> really? Is she Swedish? Mm, no, uh, she, she wasn't born there. Yeah, she wasn't born there. Oh, she's born, man. She's born here. Yeah. Oh, and you will be able to tell her you're like a quarter Swedish, okay? You're yeah. Salvadorian and a quarter Swedish. <laughs> okay, yeah. man. Nice talking okay. to you. Please don't miss your classes. Yeah. Take, yeah, take care. Bye-bye. Bye.